Okay, today I'm going to show you how to put straight edges on the side of your slabs that you cut on your sawmill. Now, as you can see on this one, you know, you've got knots down there where limbs were sticking out. This There's no straight edges on this whatsoever. So run to the table saw. You're going to constantly be flipping it back and forth to get it perfectly straight. So I'm going to show you a lot easier way to do that. So we're going to start off with a chalk line. on the flower hand so I see that all the clothes are sitting there. What I'm going to do is pull it straight and try and get as close to the edge as I can without wasting the material. Now down on the far end I need to slide the top and close it as you get. See as close to that edge as possible. And that right there looks pretty good. I'm going to snap the top line, and then I'm going to trim that with the circular saw, my hand. And then There, now you can see if we look down that edge, you've got a fairly straight edge to put against the fence to rip the other side, and then I'll flip it back and give this side a straight edge. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to set up the fence on the table saw to run this through on the opposite edge of the one I just cut with the circular saw. Okay, now what I've done is I've taken measurements of the board as far as the width and tried to find the, the widest area, which is 8 inches. So what I'm going to do is find the narrowest. <laughs>
now we have a board, perfectly straight edges, ready to go to the kiln. Or you could throw them in the kiln and let them dry like this. The bark on one edge, and then after they dry, cut them. I find the table saw cuts them better when they're wet. You want to make sure you have a uh, a ripping blade in your table saw before you attempt this. Here you can see that's that's nice.